Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and we are taking a look at Call of Duty Black Ops kill streaks. I'm going to show you each of the kill streaks, show you how they work, uh, and give you some tactics for using them. First one up is the spy plane. It's only uh, you only need three kills in order to get it. Once you get it, you can use it, and it will show enemy positions on your map for you and your teammates. So this is going to help out your team. Uh, be sure that you don't just use it as soon as you get it. This is this goes for all the kill streaks. Make sure the right opportunity is there for you to use it. A good time to use it is when you're playing objective type games. You're getting ready to take the headquarters, or uh, you're you have the headquarters. You want to defend it. Throw that up and let people see what enemies are around. Be careful though. Don't rely solely on it because if people are using the ghost perk, they will not show up on the radar. The RC car is the second kill streak. It you also need three kills for this one. Uh, this one is a nice little uh, car that you get. You can run around. You can, you can press the left bumper and get a boost. Uh, but just drive it up right next to somebody by using the left analog stick, and then right trigger whenever you're ready to detonate it. You can easily get you know a double or triple kill if people are in close proximity. The counter spy plane. Uh, you need four kills in order to get it and what this does is it blocks out the enemy's radar so they cannot see you uh, whenever you're firing you know whenever you're just playing the game you show up on the enemy's radar when you're firing your gun if you don't have a suppressor on it uh, so if the enemy's using like a spy plane or uh, you're firing you can use the counter spy plane and uh, it makes it so they cannot see what's going on the SAM launcher uh, this is also at four I really like this one. This you can set out and it destroys any incoming enemy aircraft. So if the enemy is uh, you know, calling out a care package even or a spy plane or whatever, this will shoot that aircraft out of the sky to keep that enemy from getting those. So though, this is a very important kill streak. That's a defensive kill streak that works out really well. Care package, you get that after five kills. Uh, it's really just a uh, a gamble as to what you'll get. It, it could be anything, but you have to be careful. Be sure that you throw it out when you're on the outskirts of a map. Uh, let it drop. Be sure the area is clear before you throw it. Uh, and if it's something that you don't like, uh, people who are running around with Hardline Pro can actually go up to the care package and change it. Uh, so that's a nice little feature to have if you don't get something. But again, it could change from uh, bad to worse. So be careful of that. Napalm Strike, you need five kills in order to do this one. Uh, this will uh, send out a stream of napalm, so it will burn your enemies. You can adjust which direction you want the napalm to come into, so be sure that whenever you're going to drop some of these bombs that you have somebody using a spy plane so that you know on the map where enemies are where you can uh, use this. This is also a good one to use if you want to defend a base or a headquarters because the fire stays uh, lit for quite a while and will continue to hurt enemies that walk into it. The sentry gun you get at six kills. You want to be sure that you place this off in a corner uh, or somewhere where people can't easily get behind it because you can knife it and the enemy will get a hundred points easily. Uh, but this one does a lot of damage and it will shoot anybody who comes within its range. So use this one to block entrance ways or uh, paths. Mortar strike, you get this one at six kills as well. Uh, the mortar strike, you can call in three different mortars uh, and attack three different locations. So this again is really good for objective type games. Somebody's taking the base or a couple of different bases or you're getting ready to go in there and clear that out. Put those on the base and um, then you'll have an easy time walking in. Attack helicopter you get at seven. Mm -hmm. Again, you can um, choose on the map where you want this to go, uh, and the chopper will hover in that particular area and shoot people on the ground. This is really good for defending uh, positions. Valkyrie rockets. Uh, this was a really cool one. Uh, again, you want to be far back away from the action when you use these. You can fire up in the air. You'll notice that on the right side there is a gas meter and uh, you have quite a lot of gas so you can get around the map shoot it straight up in the air and then maneuver your way around to whatever enemy location you want to get to this is really good for clearing out an area you're having trouble with and it has a large blast radius blackbird 
is after eight kills. This is a great defensive um, uh, kill streak reward. It will show you all enemies on the map and what direction they are headed into. Uh, this is really good if one of your teammates has a, another kill streak they want to use but see where enemies are on the map. This will definitely do that. And it does not matter if the enemy has on uh, Ghost or any other perk. Uh, it will show the enemies. Rolling Thunder, 8 kill streak. Uh, this is a enormous payload that will wipe out a large area. Again, it's like the napalm. You choose what area you want to clear out. Uh, be sure that you're not standing by whenever any of these are dropped. Chopper Gunner comes with 9 kills and you're on a Huey and you have a, uh, a machine gun that you can just mow people down. Uh, this is extremely dangerous on uh, you know smaller maps. Uh, same thing goes for Attack Dogs. Attack Dogs is at 11 and uh, they can do some major damage on small maps. On larger maps it's a lot easier uh, for the enemy so they don't uh, get as many kills, but on small maps like Nuketown, they are devastating if you ever get one. Gunship is also at 11, and uh, it, it's a gunship that you can actually fly. You have a machine gun that you can mow people down, but you also have uh, a couple of missiles. Uh, if you pull the left trigger, then you can shoot those missiles and uh, do a lot of damage as well. The gunship is good because you are maneuvering it, so you can really... Uh, focus on whatever area you want to uh, and you can try to dodge uh, you know incoming missiles or, or whatever it is so that is kill streaks for Call of Duty Black Ops if you want more tips tricks hints walkthroughs for multiplayer and single player be sure you head on over to battlestrats.com and click on the link in the description for the strategy guide thanks for watching